Frank, um, thanks for the video. This is the compilation that I promised. Um, again, it might be the last one we do from this particular location, but uh, you know, I'm move we're moving to a, um, a lake um, down the hill rather than up in the mountains. So you, the, the background will change uh, probably for the next video. Uh, I wanted to make some comments about the swing uh, and I put together a little video that follows this. Um, I think it's a swing that's based too much on talent. You have talent. You can tell that from the swing. But I think perhaps you're relying on the wrists a little bit too much and, and your control over the wrists a little bit too much um, for your own good. Obviously, I understand what you're trying to do on the backswing. But if we look at where the club shaft is when it's parallel with the ground on the backswing, you can see that the club head is well outside the hands. I would argue that it's too far uh, outside the hands and you see that the club head itself is in a closed, a dramatically uh, closed position when it's viewed down the line. Um, that in many cases tends to induce a kind of a, an adjustment at the top of the backswing which is called a loop where you go back on the outside and then you tend to come down too much on the inside. That's what players do. Uh, I would be, a, I'm, I am a little concerned at that club head position and club shaft alignment at that point on the backswing is, is causing you problems in particular uh, with the longer clubs. Now you have a talent level sufficient obviously to control the shorter irons. I don't think that's going to be a problem but when you get to the longer irons and perhaps the driver when it's this far outside, when the club head is this far outside of the hands uh, it's going to be a, a little bit of a problem for you, I think. And what that does at the top of the backswing is it, it, makes the, uh, it makes you have to have an adjustment at the top of the backswing. You see here you go from online uh, with your feet and online with the target. You tend to do too much and the club shaft uh, starts pointing well to the right of the target at the top of the backswing. Again, with the longer clubs, it could be a, a real issue to have that much um, lack of orientation, if you want to call it, to, uh, towards the target. As you're starting the downswing, obviously, it's going to uh, these things are going to have an effect on where the club head is. And I think as you come down, it's coming down on the inside and it's coming down pretty well. If we stop it there, where the club shaft is nearly parallel with the ground again. We can see that the club head is now uh, well positioned inside of the hands, uh, inside of the hands line. And from this point, normally if you swung through with the body, it would be a very, very good golf swing. I say, unfortunately, um, I think you're using the wrists uh, a little bit too much. If we look at it going through the point of impact, we can see that the hands uh, are taking over the movement of the golf club through the point of impact. We can see the, the movement there. There's very, very little bottom half movement. Uh, it's all done by the hands. And again, you're a very talented player. And I think you're perhaps concentrating on using the hands and the wrists uh, a little bit too much. If you would slow down the hands and move the body over, uh, I think it would be better for you. I think you would keep the club head squarer for longer through the point of impact. One kind of um, last point on this, if we look um, at this particular um, video here, and it's happening with the other videos too, as you start the backswing, because uh, players are concentrating on, on keeping the hands where they want them to be on the backswing, you're getting a little bit of, of what they call reverse pivot. In other words, your head when the backswing is going forwards and on the downswing is going back. So that's kind of what they call reverse pivot and it's a very dangerous thing to get into. I noticed that you mentioned about compression through the ball and that is fine. But if you move your head the wrong way in the beginning and then the wrong way through the point of impact, it leads to quite a few mistakes, particularly with the longer club. So I'd be saying Concentrate on keeping your head still. Maybe take it backwards on the backswing 
and then forwards on the downswing rather than what you're doing in this particular video at the moment. Again, thoughts by obviously more than welcome. Uh, if there's any point there that you don't understand or you disagree with, please feel free to get back to me through the email and uh, I hope we talk again soon. Bye for now.